So a lot happening in mantle cell lymphoma, especially at this ASH meeting. In yesterday's mantle cell session, I would say two of the big highlights were we got longer term follow-up of the triangle study. That was a study in younger patients, looking at the incorporation of a BTK inhibitor ibrutinib into intensive therapy. And then this question around whether autologous transplant consolidation is a benefit. I think the, the summary that uh, is really important for the community oncology doctors is that the benefit of autologous transplant seems to be going away. There was some subgroup analysis which suggested perhaps in high-risk patients, those that have high KS67, perhaps in patients who have um, P53 abnormalities, there could be some benefit, although I would say those are really subgroup analysis. The overall study uh, tells us that for the majority of patients, there may not be a benefit to autologous transplant. There's a late-breaking uh, abstract that we're really all excited to see, um, looking at a similar question uh, from a slightly different perspective. Uh, that was done by the U.S. Cooperative Group study, and that abstract uh, basically summarizes that patients who get really deep responses to induction therapy didn't seem to benefit from autologous transplant consolidation. So I think that's a really important take home for our community oncology physicians is that transplant may not be as important of a tool going forward, and there may be a continued role for inclusion of BTK inhibitors into that frontline regimen. It's going to vary depending on uh, the backbone we use and the uh, age and comorbidities of the patients that we're treating.